This project is moving forward. From the start, our plan was to make a custom car model that we could make a mold of. Once we finalized the design, we put the mold on, and that's when the trouble started. The mold became attached to the car body, and we had to take drastic measures. Now, I'm not taking any chances. Ian, how you doing? Good, man. Still building. What the heck you doing now? I walk in today, and Ian's got a structure on the structure. This is like earthquake proof now. Well, I just didn't want it to flex, man. I put the mold back on and then build a structure on top of it to support and keep it in shape. I mean, this thing I could drive a truck over it, I bet. I said, Ian, dude, are we in the tank building business? Come on, man, I just, just a structure, not a tank. We're not going through walls with a mold. So does this thing come off or what? Well, you saw how easy the front came off. We can just hope for the best. I made, <laughs> I made all my best efforts. Just in case it doesn't crack right off, I got a couple of things to work with. It's time to pull this mold off the car. Got a bunch of fastening screws in place. I was really mindful of what happened during the process, trying to mark everything, but the foam got a little out of hand. I'm just hoping I marked all the screws. That's all the screws I can see. Hopefully there isn't a couple down in here. There it is. That was the sound of success. Let's see what it does. Uh, hold it. It feels like something's yeah. holding. Yeah. There it is. Yeah, it's right it's there. Right there. I can see it. There it is. See if I can scoot under there and take a look from there. I'll see the screw coming through. I'm worried about, is this thing gonna separate from the car without like tearing the car off? It's built that strong. Look, there's a screw. <laughs> right where, right where <laughs> I left it. Right where you put it. So this should just pop off now. Got it? Let's see. Man, it's yeah. sturdy. Yeah, look at that. This is what the whole thing's been leading to. You know, we remove the mold, we lay it on the ground, and this is what I was hoping to show to Victor. As crazy as this whole contraption looks, I've got two things. Not only am I making it rigid, but I'm creating a framework so that it's self-supporting and it lays flat on the ground so I can lay the fiberglass in really efficiently. Now I'm glad you did the overkill with all of the steel bracing, because now look, it's easy to move around. Yeah, the whole thing here is that is the mold. That's finished. We'll do a little cleanup on, on the stuff that's stuck to it, but there you go. That's ready to rock. The good news is this was the hard one to take off, I think. <laughs> the other half was all built without ever being removed from the car, so hopefully that one pops off. There's no screws. There's two screws in that one, so that's the easy thing. You said that before. <laughs> there it went. Then we take off the other side, and it comes off easier. Check that out, huh? And this has been a lot of work on Ian, man. This guy's like, I don't know how he does it. I got to think of some way to help him out to like make the next process a little bit easier. Fill all these lines. I mean, that's already blocked. This is the best one yet. Like everything else, man, if we had to do a couple of these, we'd start to get good at it. <laughs> Too bad it was the last one. I know, the story's <laughs> over. Now that my reinforcement idea works, I need to do it to the rest of the mold, and then we're on to the good part of the project. That's laying up the final car body. Getting ready to reinforce the mold on the front of the car. First part of the process is weiss the release compound. Really thought about how the thing would detach. The next step is to screw the mold into the body to make sure that it doesn't flex. The next part is just basically smothering the thing and expanding foam. I felt like expanding foam was a really good backer because it covers a huge surface area. It ends up very rigid and extremely lightweight. All the screws are marked with blue tape. Pretty much all I'm gonna do is I'm going to build a flat tabletop on top of this with steel tube. This whole steel web is just kind of encompassing. 
The one standard I need is a flat base plate for when this whole contraption flips over. It goes on the car basically upside down with all of these legs that attach it to the mold parts. This mold has to be perfectly rigid. The next step of the process is casting the end result car body. This whole structure really parallels myself in that it's super gnarly and ugly on the outside, but it's what's on the inside that counts. Silky smooth. Ian, how you doing? Good, man. This thing is ready for action. Man, this is like artwork, like Warhol stuff. Look at all the lines and stuff. Yeah. It's contrasted to the different elevations. Yeah, Shoot, you're purely, getting pretty good at that. Purely emotional. <laughs> it's got a lot of feeling. All right, let's see how good you did this. Yeah, see, exactly. What a difference. Yeah, and then you it'll flip structure. over. Getting these molds off the car, laying them on the ground. You can see the structure is doing exactly what I had hoped. I'm sure with a, a minor cleanup, these things are going to be ready for the next step. I can't believe the effort that went into this. Way more time than I expected, man. Yeah, I know you're working really hard on this, and I got a surprise for you. I got a buddy of mine that literally sprays, you know, the molds. Remember you're saying chopper gun and stuff? I was planning on laying this fiberglass by hand, but it turns out Victor's got a little ace up his sleeve. Last week, I told him about these fiberglass chopper guns, and it turns out Victor knows a guy who's got one. That's a great idea. I mean, it's the same process. You're still laminating a surface with fiberglass, but the chopper gun is super efficient, but it's with a machine that makes it way faster. They get in, they spray this fiberglass in there. What it'll take us a week to do, he'll do in two hours. The hard work's already done. Yeah, because the process is redundant at this point. You know, we went on our big fiberglass adventure. I love that idea. I'm excited to see a shop that actually does this work, see if they think of my mold. <laughs> Any craftsman is going to be interested in what the other guy's doing, so I'm really looking forward to checking out how these guys roll. Here at California Art Products, Victor knows people. He's got his buddy who has this facility that makes incredible pieces of art. They make molds, they make originals, reproductions, you name it. Their whole business is mold making and fiberglass casting. So we set them on the trailer and brought them in to have Andre take a look. Victor and I go back quite a few years and Victor gave me a call one day and said he had this great car mold he wanted to bring over and have us mold it. I guess in some of the landscaping things Victor had worked on, they wanted some kind of cool sculptural element. Apparently they needed some fiberglass horses and that's how this all came to be. You know, ultimately we, Victor and I became pretty good friends. It only makes it more fun if you're working with a friend. This is a complete departure from a professional mold, I'm sure. So I hope that these guys can get funky and hang with what's going on here. Hi Ian, I just wanted to show you around a little bit. Right off the bat, I could tell Andre's a car guy. He's telling me stories, and he shows me this little, what looks to be like a go-kart body. Normally with these car molds, they are made in pieces. Right. They're bolted together with flanges like this, bolts through them. Mm -hmm. This way it's really, really strong, and we make it out of fire retardant resin. Cool, so in the end, the body of the car will be about this thick too, huh? Yes. So it's super lightweight, super strong. Very strong. That's cool. Originally, Victor told me that they had hand laid up the mold, and I thought to myself, wow, you know, a car mold hand laid up, that's difficult. Yeah, I, I worked in an art foundry. We did bronze casting, so I was familiar with the process, but I basically looked on YouTube, saw videos of guys in their garages making molds, literally with a paintbrush and a bunch of fabric, yeah, and that yeah, was the way yeah. I did the whole yes. thing. <laughs> I was expecting more of like a, not as, Sophisticated as a design. I'll tell you, for a first attempt, that's you get an A. It's a beautiful job. It's going to turn out a nice part. Cool. Really. We, well, we Victor will be happy to hear that. Thanks. I thought I was getting a C minus on this mold project because I was mistakenly looking at the mold from the outside. What's happened is Andre knows exactly what the mold's supposed to be. He looks at it for the surface of the car, and he gives it an A. Ian, you might find this interesting. This is a five-axis sculpting machine. Holy moly. It doesn't matter what it is. 
It could be the head of a dime. It could be the front of a car. It could be a piece of aircraft or the whole thing. Our programmer, Phil, that runs that department, he puts it into his machine, breaks it apart, and this will cut it. That's how that Thunderbird was made. All the way that I've been familiar with this model making thing has been like Victor and I are doing, hands-on, tactical engagement. These guys are doing a completely next generation. Everything is represented in three-dimensional CAD drawings. So realistically, if Victor did want that full size, that car could be just set on that table, a giant block of foam, and you could replicate it at this point. Oh yeah, we did cars all the time. Mm -hmm. Fenders right. away. See, part of his thing is like, you know, I just need to be there, full scott, full size, full scale, and the car will tell us what to do. But <laughs> depends how you feel standing next to it. It's real hard when you're looking at a computer. To but see you could like literally <laughs> scale Victor and put him in the image as well. It could be a virtual. You there could we just go. Do cartoons, man. Victor, get in there. Yeah. <laughs> This five-axis machine seems like a perfect way to work, except when you change your mind, you know? You cannot debate with a machine like that. <laughs> Ian, you might want to look at this. Wait, there's more. Well, this will give you an idea oh. of how delicate this thing will cut. See how thin those wings are? Wild. You better hold it for a second. I... That's freaking crazy. It's... Big benefit of using the process that Andre and his team do is the, the results are like world class. He's showing me this fighter jet model, super thin. Everything's been machined by these CNC mills. Yeah, it looks like you could literally take it and freaking fly it, man. We do it with a lot of emotion and passion. We don't just take a job and, and throw it through a line. It's cared for from beginning to end. We like that because we want our customers to come back and we want them to see exactly how their product's being made. Oh, look at this thing, man. I'm gonna show this thing to Victor. He's just been one up. That is freaking cool. All mold making aside, the reason we came in the door was to get the use of their chopper gun. Thing is, I can't wait to see this come out of the mold. For them, it's a couple hour process. They're gonna get to it and then reveal the finished product. This is developing. Victor's initial idea was that we were gonna drop off this mold, they are gonna spray the parts in, and we we're gonna get out of here. Andres asked me to bring the car here. We're gonna index the mold on it and go to the next level. All right, so what's going on here? Well, things have developed. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Victor kind of shows up and he's concerned. He thought we'd be picking up today. I gotta give him the pep talk, but we're going way further on this project. They wanted me to bring the car in. They, uh, they had a couple ideas. They loved the way the mold was built, but they had a couple better ideas as to how to finalize it. Uh, they wanted to re-index the mold on the car body and change it a little. His reaction was a little taken aback. You know, He thought he was coming in to see his finished product. Instead, he sees his car with the mold on it yet again, You know, kind of revisiting old ground, but he's hanging in there. I think it's gonna be all right. I have one question. What happened to all the structure? What, what happened to that? What's going on there? Well, they decided they want to cast the entire body in one piece. You know, I had it set up to be in five pieces. Yes. You know, they're not changing any of the work I did inside. They're just restructuring the outside so that they can shoot it in one piece. Andre wants to make a one-piece mold so that everything matches and the project will be all the better for it. When you lay up the parts separately, you know, the air temperature, the amount of resin you use, things shrink when they, when they harden. So if you do five different pieces, you get five different sizes. They want to lay up the entire body in one piece. That way, when it cures, it's the same shape. So it's going to be way stronger. And then we trim it apart. It's going to be one whole body. We just have to put it on the car instead of piecing it together. Exactly. Now. So it still breaks apart, similar to the way I built it. But instead of laying it up independently, they're going to do it all in one thing with that chopper gun. And you'll see, it's pretty cool. I, I looked at a couple other parts they're doing, and it's super efficient. Watch. Today it looks like a mess. Tomorrow it's going to be a car, guaranteed. Talking about anticipation, I'm like freaking out. All the effort, time, and a little bit of cash flow that went into this thing could all be over. Think about Victor, I said it before, he's a passionate man. When he wants something, he gets it. So 
here we are. Plans are changing slightly. I know he's all on board, and we're just gonna get it done. My mold is just about there. There's a couple modifications, and we're jigging up a framework so that we can create a one-piece body. This entire assembly has to be turned upside down to do that. Once we figured out how we're gonna tie all these pieces together, put it on a rolling dolly. Uh, that's gonna allow this thing to be moved through the various stages of the process. I was interested to see how the pros roll, you know, how they do their thing, and it's exactly mirroring what I was doing. You know, they set their mold panel up, uh, put a release agent on. They're using something a little bit different, a little more powerful than what I was, but same idea. You just set up the part, laminate it, and then put your fiberglass in. The only difference in the way that they apply their fiberglass is that they use this chopper gun. It's super efficient and it makes a, a very dense, lightweight panel. The thing about this chopper gun is its production quality. Super fast, yields professional results. These guys got it going on. I can't wait to see how this comes out. Today's the day. Uh, we're gonna find out if that mold adventure pays off. Done everything I could preparatory-wise and uh, nothing to it but to try it out. It's the moment of truth. Walking in on this thing, I see this giant contraption. It's even uglier and more hodgepodge than anything I had even made. So it's nice to see these guys swing it a little. <laughs> they're totally out of their element and they're just rolling with it. So this is my best guess, man. All we have to do is see if this car is gonna come out of the mold. <laughs> Don't even tell me all this effort. I'm kind of tripping out right now, and I'm going, wow. You know what, this is it, And He goes, hey, hopefully this thing works out, and I'm thinking in my mind, hopefully. But the moment of truth is, when we see it, this gotta look exactly like the car we built, you know? I mean, worst case scenario, we've got a heck of a paperweight. Let's see, here it goes. Cross your finger. <laughs> Shoot, me and Ian look at each other, said, let's see if these guys can release this thing. At this point, this is a total roll of the dice. It's a leap of faith. Will it release? Will we have to destroy the mold? Uh, will it even come out? Hands off for me, I just left it to the professionals. What's amazing, it's pretty primitive, right? I thought they had this kind of machine that sucked it out of this thing. Hey, no more work than what you did. Yeah. <laughs> Victor's all, oh yeah, I'm taking it to the professionals. You know, that's been his whole spiel this time. <laughs> and he sees them doing the same thing we were doing and he's a little bit taken aback. The edges peel off. But who knows if it's gonna release. <laughs> Worst case, we can cut the mold apart and find the car in there, but I don't know. They're having some trouble, man. Otherwise, I mean, it's a great story, even if it doesn't work, right? It isn't a great story for me. Look, <laughs> the pressure's on. I see these guys with pro bars, all this stuff. I'm going, man, these guys are going to crack this thing. Oh, there it went. That's it, man. It's totally loose. Look at that. As soon as one part goes, the whole thing releases. It's like the straw that broke the camel's back. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Looks like these guys know what they're doing, man. That works. I didn't think it was gonna come out. Yeah, but what's it look like? Just because it released doesn't mean it looks good. I mean, it could be all freaky, I don't know. Please, have a positive attitude here, <laughs> man. <laughs> I'm like freaking, because now is the moment of truth. We're gonna pop it out and actually see if it worked or not. The thing is, you can't just flip this over. It takes about six guys. So sure, it popped free from the mold. Everything looks cool, but it's upside down. It's hard to see everything while it's upside down, but what I can see, it's looking all right. It's exactly what we were hoping for, right? So far, it's looking pretty good. And what I could see from it here, all the lines and all the effort Ian put in in making the mold, it's, it's blocked. We don't have to do much body work if everything lines up on top. I mean, that's the question. 
I'm gonna miss all the Bondo, your shirts and your socks. Yeah, and no, there's no, there's no laundry in this one. It's pretty smooth. They tie these big straps on it, pull the forklift. I mean, that was the longest minute of my life. They turn the thing over and it's just like, hallelujah. Oh, it looks even cooler on the ground like it's supposed to be. Look how low the car is, dude. That's crazy. That, that's, you know, that's a body. Wow. It looks great. I mean, everything about it looks like a part should coming fresh out of the mold. You know what? I'm just uh, trying to comprehend <laughs> what we just achieved. You can't man. comprehend what we just achieved. Awesome. So this is good. We're back to square one. So it's like we just found our project car. Let's get back to the lab and build a car. I'm still in shock that we pulled this off. It's pretty good. Pretty good first try, man. You might just have a knack for this car building thing. All in all, Victor's call on getting the car to this facility, having him do it with the chopper gun, is perfect scenario. You know, it's a small celebration, but seeing this body complete on the ground, the car had another angle. And I seen things that I didn't see before. So there's other things that we have to modify, don't tell Ian. I'll freak the guy out. I'll wait about a week. I don't want to lose him while we're ahead. <laughs>